and Tangella too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to ya! Creature features! And all creatures! And all creatures! And the creature gonna get you tonight! You better not turn out your bedroom light! He'll grab your head and give us such a bite! Livingston, what does the devil and a circus have in common? I fail to comprehend why you insist upon my participation in this introductory banter. Oh, come on. What do they have in common? Very little. Indeed. However, we shall go far out of our way tonight to dispel that equation. Welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent, the dashing fellow to my right who doles out bland nuggets from his Pez dispenser of witty retorts would be the major domo of our lovely Polter Mansion, the charming Mr. Livingston, and the silly bird over to this side who is channeling a confusing mix between Pennywise and Bozo the Clowns would be my otherwise lovely and fashionable housemate, Tangella. And we have a most wondrous program in store for you, amidst the mesmerizing, mystifying world of the circus, a myriad of marvelous moments materialize. A magician's mystical mastery enchants the audience as acrobats ascend to astonishing altitudes, all while the big top billows with vibrant colors. Jugglers joyfully juggle, jesters jest, and tightrope walkers tread with tantalizing tension. The circus is a captivating cavalcade of charismatic characters which creates a cocoon of charm and curiosity. Oh my god. What? Nothing. And joining us to talk about the circus is someone who is well informed on this particular topic. For with us tonight will be the talented Michel Michelis, founder and ringmaster of the sensational Cirque de Boheme. He'll tell us what life is like when one runs away to join the circus, explain exactly how a Frenchman chose to pitch his tent here in the States, and give us his take on tonight's film, which is... Well, you may certainly ask, Tangela, but I would think he should not permit you to blast Andrew out of a cannon during one of his shows. Bless her sweet little soul. She always strives to keep the masses entertained. Our film tonight will be... Enter the Devil from 1972. This film is like a Texan barbecue of horror cliches. Mysterious town folk, a possessed doll, and more demons than a vicar's worst nightmare. It is so bad that it is devilishly delicious, making it a cult classic for lovers of 70s schlock horror. And you can be certain that Livingston will enjoy this film as well. So don't go away. For it is to be another night of three ring satanic fright, right here on Creature Features! Stay tuned! Hey, Sammy. Hello, Sammy. He is really deaf. He's really deaf, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Welcome to the show. It's going to be a fun one tonight. We have got uh, Michelle, Michelis, am I pronouncing that correctly? Yeah, correct. Michelle, yeah. Michelis. And we've got Sammy, the deaf dog, which it's, it's you know, deaf dogs are good. You know, he, he probably does not bark at sirens, right? Yeah, he's quiet Ooh, and, nice. you know. That's nice. So we're going to watch Enter the Devil, but before we get to that, you do a number of things. You're a, a circus master. Uh, what do they call it? The man who puts together the circus. Is it the ringmaster? I don't think so. I think it's more like uh, a circus uh, 
crazy CD guy. I like that. No, yeah. no, no. That that would be difficult to fit on a business card, but it's yeah, it's a good yeah, title. Okay, yeah. So he's a uh, circus silly manager business guy, and um, you you do Cirque du Bohem, de Bohem, Cirque du right. Bohem, yeah, right. It's like right. Bohemian Circus, right? Bohemian yeah. Circus, yeah. right? And you've been doing this for years now, right? I think this year will be like uh, twelve or fourteen years. I create this circus. Wow, uh, in San Francisco. Then, so how long has it been in Sonoma, the town of Sonoma? Ten years. Ten years. This year is our ten years anniversary. Yeah, it's a it's a fabulous show. I've been and it's it's you've you've got everything except animals, right? Yeah, only French, you know, Frenchmen instead right. of animals. Right. No, no, and you know, Frenchmen. That's they. Yeah. They can fill in. Yeah. You know why yeah. not? Why not? I can bark. I can you know. Right. I can do a lot right. of things. And you've got a dog. That, yeah, uh, but doggy. Sammy is not on the stage. Sometimes people ask because they see a lot of pictures of him and me. Right. And they say, oh, you have animals, you have a dog on stage. I say, no, no, no. No. Sammy's the boss. No, he's, I, I saw him. He walks around the outside. He goes where yeah. he wants. Yeah. He, he welcomes the people on the entrance. He is. He, he's like a, he's like a maitre d'. Yeah. Right? He's, uh, exactly. He's the yeah, of yeah. The yeah. Right. yeah. All right. So we're going to watch Enter the Devil. Well, are you okay with watching devil films? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, this one's rather silly. Yeah. I haven't watched the whole thing. I just watched a tiny piece, but it looks like it was on the crest of the whole Satan movie thing mm. of the 70s. You know, yeah. we had The Exorcist. We had uh, Rosemary's Baby. Ola. And then we have Enter the Devil, which does not have near the budget that those other two films had, which is fine because yeah, sometimes the movies with less money. I know. I right. know, yeah. Right. And yeah. sometimes they are very good. That's right. Yeah. That's right. All right, well, we're going to talk about you. We're going to talk about the circus. We're going to talk about the other things you do. But uh, let's go ahead and get this film started. And when we come back, uh, we'll learn more about Sammy, right? Okay. All right, off we go. Enter the Devil, 1972. Don't you dare go away. It's a fun film. See you soon.
Hello. Sure proud you stopped. Uh, blew a tire back a ways. Damn spare was flat. Uh, need a lift to a service station or someplace where I could maybe get a... Thanks. Don't tell me how far it had to walk for it. Maybe found him. Crawl out from under there, boy. One more minute, boss man. One more minute. There, she ought to run forever. Well, good. I'm glad to hear it. I need you to take a ride down the bend. Sure thing. First thing in the morning. You ought to be able to make it by about mid-afternoon. This fellow by the name of Perkins. Tom. Friday's my day off, remember? This rock hound, Jace, by the name of Ozzy Perkins, took a vacation trip out of Houston down into the bend. Now, he's long overdue on a return. So I told Houston you go down there and have a look around. Fresh start in the morning, I'd have the whole day. Damn it, Jace, you'll have all the time it takes. Look, boy, this is election year. Now, I don't want no open cases on election day. Go ahead and get cleaned up, huh? And uh, don't get too attached to that lip brush, boy. That's got to go. Tom. I had a hot day tonight. Pretty good possibility. <laughs> you know that. Maybe you ought to start off down at Glen Phelps' place. A lot of tourists stopping there, coming and going. And doesn't that little uh, Juanita still work down there? Okay. I will get cleaned up. But if you don't want me coming back until I get it straightened out, you'd better start sending my checks care of Paralingua, Texas, general delivery. I might grow a beard. This Ozzy Perkins won't be the first gringo that dropped out of sight down in the Big Bend country. Yeah, but I'll be damn glad when they quit using Brewster County for their disappearing act. I'll get you a picture of this guy.
I'm coming. Sorry, Jace. What brought you down to the border? Looks like you've been pushing pretty hard. Fill her up, Willis, and see if you can knock some of that dust off the windshield. Had much business lately? Oh, let's pick it up. Hunting season and all. Mostly trade from across the river, though, and I'd just as soon do without that. The day my late wife talked me into moving down here to this hellhole is the day I should have been put out of my misery. Lots of folks spend good money just to come down here and look at the scenery. Yeah, and there's lots of folks in the nut houses. I guess what comes down here is the overflow. What about this fella? You seen him around? That's one I do remember. His kind of few and far between. Something special about him? Well, every tourist or hunter that comes through here wants to pay with one of them little plastic cards. You know how long it takes me to get my money out of them credit outfits? What about the guy in the picture? What about him? He won by the law or something? Name's Ozzie Perkins. Came up here rock hounding. He never got home. Well, he got past here all right. Must have been last week. Paid cash for gas and groceries. Last cash I've seen since I took in some old war out Mexican money. Said he was headed up to felt place. That'll be 357. Put it on a county's bill. Man, Tony, don't claim it twice a year. Hello friends, Tangella and I would like to take a moment to compel you to join Creature Features TV. It is our new streaming service that offers you early access to Creature Features from your computer or your favorite set-top device. You can see the full archive of Creature Feature episodes, movies we've yet to present on the show, a library of items from the original program, plus many other items you won't find anywhere else. Your small yet generous subscription fee not only supports the operation of the service, but actually helps finance the creation of our show. It's a very inexpensive way to ensure that we'll be able to continue producing creature features for years to come. Not to mention it'll keep Tangella out of making mischief and wreaking havoc in the village as well. So please visit CreatureFeaturesTV.com to learn more. And thank you so much for your support. You, you do cause trouble. You know, these old cars had the worst tires, did they not? Yeah. Yeah, They're completely unreliable. And, you know, tires today, I think you could shoot with a gun and they'll bounce off, right? Mm. Maybe. No. I'm not really a fan of the gun, you know? Well, no, especially if you've got tires yeah. that easily pop yeah. from a gun. Anyways, uh, welcome back to the show. We are watching Enter the Devil 1972, and we are with the wonderful Michel Michelis. Yeah, thank How'd you. How'd you get a name like that? It's two first names. Yeah, I know. It's my uh, my father was a joker. Ah, you know? yeah. Well, you're a bit of a joker as well. Yeah, so right? it's it's a family of right. <laughs> joker family. No, no, I no. Well, two first names. It's yeah. it's it's easy for friends to remember, right? It's true. What's Michelle's last name? Yeah, Michelle's last name is Michelis. Right? There we go. And you know the the funny thing also, it's my in my family, my father's first name is Michelle. No. Yeah, my. Uh, uh, brother-in-law is Michel. So when my mom came on the kitchen, she say, hey, Michel. And everybody say, yes. Right. right. No, no. It's like, you know. it's like all the Italian girls, their middle name is Marie. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you call Mary on the street and uh, you have like maybe 100 right. women and young yeah. women and girls say, yes. No, See? but it's nice because if you get personalized socks yeah. that say the name, you could pass them on to... Yeah. It's true. Your family. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Anyways, uh, so uh, this film we'll get back to in a moment, but I want to talk to you about um, how you got into this whole circus thing. I mean, have you been... Uh, you know, it's a dream. All your life? It's a dream. Right. It's a dream from uh, kids. When I was a kid, I went to the circus. I was very young with my, my dad. Right. And it was my first artistic shock of my life. Right. And when we get out, I say to my father, you know, one day... I will have my own circus. 
and I was a little boy. And my father said, sure. Right. And so it was a dream. So I do many things on my life. And finally, 15 years ago, uh, I created my own uh, circus. But I was helped by two um, young women, producer working with the Cirque du Soleil. Oh, and I right. work with the Cirque du Soleil too. Right. So this is how I can create my own circus. But there was a stage before this where you actually worked in the circus, right? Yeah, I you worked, learned. Yeah, I learned how a lot, it all works. A lot, right. A lot. Right. I work with the Buglion family right. in France, and after that with the Cirque du Soleil producer, right. and I was, you know, on stage and backstage. So I learned. Everything. Both sides. Both sides. Right. And it's now it's, uh, I, I'm glad about that because I can manage my circus, you know, easily. Right. And I know what can be the problem with the technician. Right. Or the artist. Right. You know. And it's not a giant circus, no. so it's not like you've, yeah. you, you've got to contend with angry elephants or anything like this. No, right? no, 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 no. Yeah. No angry elephant. And it's very small audience. It's like 120 seats. Right. So you are very close to the stage. It's intimate. Yeah, very right. intimate. So no, you can that's... see the people. You can see when the magician make a trick right. and everything fails. You know, right. because sometimes, you know. Right. He... Things happen. Yeah, it's happened. Right. Or when the aerialist, uh, you know, they are like, or the contortionist make right. a mistake. You can right. see that. But he's a part of the show. That's right. You know, it's a live show. Right. So I love that very right. much, you know. It's wonderful. And sometimes you go in the circus like a ring border. Ring, Ringling, Ringling Brothers. Brothers, yes. I love. But, uh, you know, they just finished a tour in Chicago last week. 12,000 people under the big tent. So oh 12,000 people, you know, you are very far away you to the see stage. tiny things down right. below. Yeah. Right, right. All right, what do you say we get back to this film? When we come back, we're going to learn some more about the circus, right? Okay. All right, off we go. Back to Enter the Devil. Don't go away because I'll be sitting here and Michelle will be sitting here. I will. You might wake Sammy up, so hurry back. See you soon. Howdy, stranger. Just passing through. Just stop by to water my horse. How you been, Glenn? No real complaints. Good to see you, Jace. You know, this place of yours is really turning into a gold mine. Shaping up good. <laughs> Same old story. Always a smoke, but never a light. What brings you so far south? Tom Jefferson. Sheriff of Brewster County and running hard for re-election. Checking out a missing persons report. Call the name of Perkins. How long has he been gone? All oh, near as I can figure, about a week. He stopped by Lajitas, bought some gas. Said he was coming up here. Willis remembers him. Said he paid cash. He never showed up here. I could have used the cash. What do you think? Mexico? Probably. Pockets full of greenbacks. Wouldn't be the first time a fellow decided on a sudden change of scenery. Tom thinks he's under the gun this year. Told me not even to think about coming back until I got the answers to this. Well, I guess you'll be around for a couple of days. You got any room? Plenty right now. The deer season starts Saturday at daylight. By Friday night, it could get pretty crowded. Juanita! The deputy will be staying a couple of days, fixing up the cabin, okay? 
Sí, muy bien. How many hands you got working for you now? Two steady and the house girls. Oh, how those? Yeah, they waded the river. They make good workers. Whoa, up, old buddy. I'm not the border patrol. I just thought you might put out the word on Perkins. Someone on the other side might know something. Sure, but I don't think it'll get you anywhere. These people don't talk much. Quiet and tight-lipped, especially with Anglos. You get along all right. I'm beginning to understand them. They're good people. Got any on ice? You bet. I'll buy. The hell you will. I said it's on me. Paco, how are you? Oh, I got these little pains. It only bothers me a little. Paco's always got a pain somewhere. Maria. Sí, señor Glenn. Dos cervezas, por favor. Hey, that's a new face. Well, since you hit it off so well with Juanita, I figured... You figured you'd give it a try. Yeah. Well? Well, she turned out to be Chewie's cousin. And Chewie makes a hell of a chaperone. Paul Blasey. Buenas tardes, Senor Jace. ¿Cómo está? Muy bien, Joey. Senor Glenn. Yeah. The pickup needs a new fan belt. I ain't got uh, nothing to... Somebody will be going into town. I got a new one picked up. We'll make do with a blazer too late. Bueno. We'll make do. seen the map. Remember your landmarks and you won't have any trouble. It'll be good daylight in less than an hour and you ought to be ready and waiting by then. Mount up. the shoulder. Hell you did. Right behind the ass, maybe. I got him. Well, right now there's a buck down there breaking the record for the one minute mile. That's pretty good for a dead one. You won't get far. Down that gully, maybe. After you, Daniel Boone. Hey, what the hell is that? What's a car doing way the hell out here? Whoever put it in here sure did a job of it. Hey, hey, there's, there's something in there. Nobody's been here since the two hunters found it. The car all burnt to hell like that. No registration papers. No identification on the body. But these plates make it Perkins. You gonna be able to put a positive ID on something like that, Doc? Well, he had much dental work done, or anything more than the usual broken bones in his early life. And if the dental and medical records are locatable, it might be possible. Well, better get to it. We'll uh, we'll give you all the help we can. On today? Well, the county pays you to be coroner, Doc. Glenn, Jay, Sheriff. How do you figure you got down in a place like this? It's a heck of a long way off any road. You'd be surprised where some of these rock hounds and spelunkers will take an old jalopy like that. 
I guess he didn't see what was ahead until it was too late to do anything about it. Fire. It's a hard way to go. Yeah. Well, speaking of going, I guess we better get going, Doc. Uh, Jace, seeing as how it's election year and all, maybe you ought to hang around down here a little bit. You know, show the flag, buy a few beers, drum up a few votes. Yeah, I guess I'd better. Or start looking for another job. It's got to go, boy. about it, an autopsy doesn't do anything for their looks. Yeah, nothing well when they're this far gone. Is it Perkins, Doc? Hmm. It was Perkins. Geez, you could have told me that on the telephone. Yeah, a couple other things. For one thing, he didn't die in the fire. So? And I don't think the wreck could have killed him. The injuries are somewhat unusual. So what are you trying to tell me, Doctor? Well, what I'm saying is there are no blisters inside the lungs, which means that, uh, he was dead before the fire got to him. He was dead probably before the fire started. Well, he could have been killed in the wreck. I mean, that was one hell of a steep drop. Well, I'm not saying he didn't die in the wreck. I'm saying that the unusual nature of the injuries makes it somewhat doubtful. There are puncture wounds in the palms of both hands, puncture wounds through the bones of the feet. And as near as my admittedly somewhat limited brand of medical science can determine, the actual cause of death was a puncture wound between the fourth and fifth ribs into the left ventricle of the heart muscle. And that's the way my report is going to read. Oh, now, Doc, either he was killed in the wreck or he was murdered. And there's no reason of God's green earth to think the man was murdered. So that leaves the wreck. And that's the way my report's going to read. And you asked for an autopsy, Tom. You got it. Yeah. Yeah, and it proves that that's the body of Ozzie Perkins. You could at least look into the possibility that... That's right, Tom. Keep the slate clean. It's an election year. Catherine? Yes, Doc. See if you can uh, connect me with Dr. Culver at UT El Paso. Dr. Leslie Culver. Should be in the anthropology department. Yeah. Keep trying till you get an answer. Angela, look, you can purchase for only $9.99 American a softly lustrous, silky smooth, poetic look blouse. Don't you think she'd look most fashionable in this? A poetic Fet look? That's what it's called, the poetic look blouse. Look, it's got giant collars. No, it's not. It's quite fashionable. It's more fashionable than this clown outfit she's wearing. Anyways, uh, welcome back to the show. Michelle stepped away for a short moment because uh, he had things to do, right? Indeed. And so mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do some mail because you send us mail. And if uh, we don't read it, then uh, that would be absolutely disastrous, right? This is from Teresia. But from no, whom? Th there's no address or location. It's Teresia. 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 No, it's Teresia. Love you all, Teresia. All right, here it goes. Hi, Vincent, Mr. Livingston, and the ever so torturous Tangela. She's, she's torturous to others, not to herself. I'm so pleased that you're now airing movies on a Friday night. I so look forward to the weekends with a double helping of creature features. You guys are great and entertaining, especially Tangela with her gruesome antics. A girl after my own heart. You can take the girl out of the gruesome, but you can't take the gruesome out of the girl. She's all of the above. 
No, we have evidence, right? She's fully 100% gruesome. Uh, keep up with your gruesomeness, Tangela, and take it up to a level, although it would be nice to give Andrew a break from time to time, even though it makes me laugh with how you torture him. Mr. Livingston, your facial expressions are priceless and put a smile on my face. You're a true gentleman. Vincent, I have noticed comments about your hair. I love your hair. In fact, you need to backcomb it. A sideshow bob would look great on you. Now, she, she backcombs it all night long, right? She's always coming up with the, with the pokey comb. And, the pokey comb. Right. And she's, mm. now it's, it's backcombed to all heck and back. You're all great hosts and a joy to watch. Keep up the great work and movies. Love you all, Teresia. Well, thank you, Teresia. We hope you're doing well in uh, your unlisted location. This one from Bronx, New York. Have you ever been to the Bronx? I have, actually. It's a nice place. Uh, oh, you know, Orange, what does this tell us? What does that tell us, Tangela? You know, she knows it's a Halloween thing. This is from... Oh, it's a it's a Peanuts one. Who's it from? It's from David Anthony Romero. Is that one person or three? Nope. I think it's one, one person. David Anthony Romero, and it's Welcome Great Pumpkin. It's Halloween. Uh, like we said last week, we get we get Halloween stuff for a while. We do. But it's okay because it's always Halloween here, so it does not matter. Oh, look, he gave us 10 American dollars. Yeah, that, that will buy you like a piece of cheese. A TV guide. A pumpkin. A pumpkin. A mash. All right, here it goes. Uh, dear Vincent Tangella and Mr. Livingston, I love you guys and never miss your show on YouTube. Keep up the good work. P.S. Tangella reminds me of a girl I dated in high school. Did you ever date a bloke named David Anthony Romero in the Bronx? You sure? All right. Wasn't her. But uh, thank you so much for the wonderful donation, and we will spend it on something useful, not whatever Tangela is trying to convey to me right now. There's a package from Georgia. Georgia. Riceboro. Georgia. Sippy Thrift. You didn't tell me this was from Sippy Thrift. I did not see that. I don't know if this is an establishment or an actual person's name, but let's find out. Oh, my goodness. What is this? Oh, are these these are voodoo dolls of some kind. Now this is children it's of the corn, corn type people. thing. It's a children of the corn type thing. I bet you it's used for voodoo. Let's find out. All right, we've got. Oh my goodness, a check for twenty five dollars. Twenty five American dollars. Kickstarter, Tangela Vincent Livingston. Awesome. All right, let's see what we've got here. Hello, Vincent. My 90-year-old father, my brother, and I discovered you recently. We are all hooked. We have become patrons and watch at least three times a week. That's too much. Three times a week. They're quite the fans. No, no. I don't even go to the cinema three times a week. And they watch our show three times. Well, I suppose we're more convenient, are we not? Yes. Right. All right. Uh, dear Tangela, you are so great. Tell Vincent I think he's a cutie. I'm waiting. She's so mean to me. You know, she's 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 nice when she needs money, but uh, not tonight. All right, tell Livingston he is the best. He already knows. I love his dry sense of humor. Your entire show comes together so well. I've always loved old B movies. I'm addicted to creature features. Tell all those in the background I am rooting for them. They're rooting for you. The reason this personal letter is typed is because I write half cursive and half print. Vincent requested no cursive, so here goes nothing. You know, I'm the same way. I do mix them together because I, I never write anymore. I think my writing has been atrophied. But uh, no, I can I can read well done cursive. It's when the people write like the signing the Declaration of Independence. I cannot read that type of cursive. But if you write neatly, I can I can read it perfectly. Uh, let's see. The purpose of this letter is for my brother. He is in love with you. Uh, this is to you, you know. He sits and laughs quietly every time he sees you. He has little interest in television, but doesn't miss an episode. I asked who his favorite person was and knew the answer before he gave it. Tangela. 
when normally when asked such a question, he inevitably says, I don't know. He's the original Rain Man. To get more to the point, his birthday is November 21st. I would adore being able to present him with an autograph 8x10 of you. The two of you are much alike. He doesn't speak except in a whisper. You are both scary and he doesn't like Andrew either. Now, if it were me, I would want the two-headed axe. That is more my style, but this is not about me. It's about my brother. Thank you for your consideration. Yours truly, Sippy. Well, we will get you that photo out. It's a little too late for the birthday. We hope he had a, a fun one. And this is somebody. We're going to find out who's in this photo. Look at this. It's a handsome bloke. Is that Sippy? Could that be Sippy? Or it's the brother. Or it's the brother. We don't know. EDK. Well, it's a mystery, but whoever this is, nice costume. All right. Anything else, Mr. Livingston? That's it. That is it for mail. If you'd like to send us mail of your own, visit this little website right here called hellocreaturefeatures.com. And at that site, you can find out how to send us an email, how to send us an envelope with corn dolls, or how to send us a truckload of pumpkins. Because Halloween's right around the corner, right? Rather not. No pumpkins, according to Mr. Livingston. But uh, we'll be right back with Michelle soon. But first, let's get back to Enter the Devil. Impressive. Maria, Mas Fiste, Gondole, huh? <laughs> Spoken like a true native, Sam. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's what I call a good-looking piece of meat. See? <laughs> and it's nice and a, yeah. a tender. <laughs> hey, Marie, how come mine's so small? What's yours? Yours is the biggest one. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's what they all tell me. Oh. <laughs> you want to go to deer out there, you're just going to stay in bed all the time. Oh, hell, I don't know. I don't know how to go deer. Hey, Maria. I want to see you later tonight so we can get something straight between us. Hey, you little Mexican <laughs> spitfire, you. <laughs> Boy, you don't waste any time, do you, Sam? You know it. Excuse me. Face the cool. What the hell's with him? Right. Pass me the butter, will you? So <laughs> 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 Jay come play us some deer music. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get him. <laughs> well, at least we'll have another chance to <laughs> hear <laughs> Hey, Sam. Ready for another brew? <laughs> I guess he's got dessert on his mind right now. <laughs> Hey, glad you can make it. I guess Sam just isn't the kind of dessert Maria favors. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, how about a cold shower? Do you good? <laughs> yes, Sam. <laughs> Maria! Hey, wait a minute. I want to talk to you. And what would you have to say to me, senor? Well, you sort of came on pretty strong back in the dining hall, you know. Come on, strong. I do not understand, senor. Senor? Well, my name's Sam, Sam Thornton. And what I mean is, well, oh, you sure do give a man ideas. Now, you wouldn't want to be guilty of uh, false advertising, would you, huh? Here. Well, I know, honey, all you want to... Oh, Why, you little bitch! side of the river. 
I would not live to see tomorrow's sunrise. Well, the way she was showing off back in the lost, how in the hell was I supposed to know? Maria. Maria. No one must know this. You will say nothing. Do you understand? Do you understand? Well, I had this hunch. Came up over this little hill, and there he was. Got him on the first shot. Fantastic. You ever see one bigger, Paco? It's muy grande, senor. All the way out, about 150 pounds. What do you think? See, maybe even more. You got yours mighty fast, Jake. Hell, you were back here almost before I finished dropping everybody off. Well, I just had this hunch. I come sneaking up over this hill with the safety off. And, oh, and there he was. That's Doc Carroll's car. Howdy, Doc. What the hell are you doing out here? Gonna take up hunting? I see enough blood. Now, I drove down to bring you a customer, so you watch your language. <laughs> Not a damn thing wrong with my... language. There's Gawkin Jaybird's Glenn Phelps, owner and operator of this godforsaken outpost. Glenn, say howdy to Dr. Leslie Culver. Welcome to Via de la Mina. Nice to meet you, Mr. Phelps. Great place you've got here. Doc Harrell's told me a lot about it. I don't think his description does it justice. It's got a certain amount of charm. And the name is Glenn. Doctor, is it? That's a Ph.D. Anthropology department up at El Paso. Needed a quiet place to do some research. Well, it can get pretty quiet here, Doctor. I'm Leslie. You're Glenn. Okay? Okay. Glenn, I'm going to leave her in your hands. i got to get back to town. i got an overdue maternity case. Oh, yeah, and I've got to start rounding up my hunters. I'll uh, see that you got settled, and then later on when we have more time, we can uh, discuss this research you're doing. Doc, if you'll turn the ladies' gear over to Paco and tell him to fix her up in the big house. Paco, meet Dr. Culver. A lady doctor? Doctora? I have these little pains. She's not that kind of doctor, Paco. As a professora. However, uh, I'll be happy to examine you. No, it's not so bad. Dr. Culver's down here writing a new book. She's looking for information on weird cults, crazy religions. Do you know anything about any crazy religions, Paco? Do I know anything about crazy religions? Let me tell you about these crazy religions. First, they tell the hombre not to eat meat on Friday, because eating meat on Friday is a sin. Then they say, go ahead, Paco, you eat meat on Friday. But when you pray to St. Christopher for a safe journey, St. Christopher is not going to be there to hear you. See, I know a little bit about these crazy religions.
Maybe Sam got his buck and walked in. Yeah, I heard a shot come that way a while ago. That could be a damn small spike for me to walk it back to the lodge. Well, if he doesn't show it back at the lodge, we'll have to organize another kind of hunt come morning. I didn't even get the bus to camp. This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. back to the show we're watching enter the devil with michelle michelles of cirque du bohem de bohem yeah i keep wanting to go do do you yeah do. but uh, he, he does more than circuses he was actually a voice in a pixar film yeah for cars for cars two because there is cars three two. there's cars one cars two cars three right and on the cars two you know the hero right you know drive everywhere i have not seen the film i saw the first one yeah and the first one was really fun and right the second one also right and uh so they arrive in paris and they met this little car uh with three tire right blue car right called tombe because this car felt all the time right. because they're <laughs> three tires right and this car walk on the black market so uh. you know all the secrets and he's a he's a grumpy car you know, and you did the voice. I did the voice. Yeah, that's yeah. wonderful. It was really, really great to work at Pixar and with these people. And uh, the director was John Lasseter, right? The big boss of Pixar right. and Disney. And because uh, John loved cars, because he grew up on a garage. Right. His father was as a garage. Right. And uh, a young script guys bring this script to him, and he say, "Okay, I want that, and but I want to direct that." But because wow. he was very busy. He has a co-director, and of the co-director was Brad Lewis, the guys who make Ratatouille. Oh wow! So right. And so it was really great to work with these two uh, simple men, humble, you know, smiley, helpful. Right. It was just a pleasure. So tell me, when when you're in the process of of dubbing your voice, yeah, are you following? The animation, or do they animate to your voice? No animation. You you have just the script on your front, right? And and you have the two director on your front, right? And so you you know you say your 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 text, right? And they send you back you know the text about right. the other character, right? Okay, but there is no animation, and after that they pick the voice, and they make the voice on the animation, right? So you know? they change the animation to follow your. Yeah. Yeah. voice right and sometimes they ask you to come back uh not only me the other right artist, of course because they sometimes uh they want to change a sentence right they feel like okay this uh, would be funnier if we did this yeah, yeah. right so right. they change and they mind so right. they, they call you they say can you come back of course you come back and you change oh, your wonderful. sentence i imagine it's a very nice oh, studio uh, it's a beautiful studio it's right. uh, in maryville near oakland right and it's uh, a big campus uh, and the studio is very nice. The people are very all nice. All the Pixar people are yeah, there. Yeah, they wow. work there. There's 800 wow. people work there. Oh, yeah. fun. And there's like 40 nationality, 40 well, different. You know, maybe for Cars 5, they'll need a British car. Yeah. Vincent, you will be the I'll English be, car. No, I'll, I'll be the, 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 the pretentious fop English car. <laughs> I'll be like a Jaguar that does not work. Oh, yeah. Right. All right, let's get back to this film. And uh, when we come back... Um, we're going to talk about your music. Okay. Right? All right, off we go. Back to Enter the Devil. Don't you dare go away. See you soon. Come on, the hell! 
Down to Lajitas, you were looking for me. We got another missing man for you. Hunter? Sam Thornton. Didn't show up at his pickup point last night. How do you figure it? Lost, maybe. Or? Or maybe he fell down a mountain, broke his leg. Might have stepped in front of a stray shot. Wouldn't be the first time it's happened. We figured a fan out from here. He was supposed to stay north of the road. Spread out about 50 yards apart. If you find anything, fire a shot. If he's down and hurt, don't move him. Just signal for help. Let's go. Sam's in a pretty big buck. Headed for a little water hole down the canyon. There he is. Yeah. Looks bad, Jace. Holy crap. Christ, he was hit by... Don't oh, breathe, Jay. He's cocked and ready. Bought the farm on that one. No way to go. I don't think it could get any closer. 
Rattler's the biggest I've ever seen in this area. I thought Rattler's hibernated or something during the winter. Usually they do, den up somewhere. But when the weather turns warm, some of these big ones will get out. You can't figure this country like anywhere else. That's a fact. But it's been quite a while since a warm spell. Well, let's get the body back to town. Wrap him up good and we'll take him in. No need for that, Jake. We'll manage it. I'm going in anyway. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but two dead men have just about cured me of the itch. I'm packing up. You know, Jake was right. We just hadn't got the hard for it this year. Maybe next year. You know, I still want to get that big one. Sure, Jerry. Some other time. Be glad to have you. Yeah, okay. This year, we'll put a hell of a dent in your business. <laughs> yeah. Well, one good thing about it, there'll be a lot of bucks left in the hills for next season. And I'll have plenty of time to catch up on the mining. You're a true optimist, Mr. Phelps. Uh, well, uh, what do we have here? An import from civilization. Dr. Leslie Culver, meet the Matt Dillon of West Texas, Jason Brooks. So you're the marshal. Oh, you know these Texans, ma'am. One lies and the other swears to it. I'm just a deputy sheriff. No, it's still a pleasure. It's a little late to be heading back for town. Can you put me up for tonight? <laughs> With an empty lodge, you can have your pick of accommodations. Put it on the county's bill. No, this time it's on me. Beer, too? Beer, too. Well, in that case, I'll see you later, ma'am. Say, I'll be going down to the old Free Holy Mine in the morning. Want to come along? You really are an optimist. Hell, Friday's my day off. Why not? He seems very nice. One of the best. Old friends? We met a couple of years ago when I first moved down here. Seen a lot of good times. I would have thought you were a native. The only natives down here are the Mexicans. That trip to the mine, am I included? That'll be sort of rough, not uh, really the kind of... Sure, why not? It'll be different. Stop. What's for dinner tonight? You staying? Going up to the old Free Holy Mine in the morning. Oh, Irish too. Give me a couple of beers. When? I'll be staying tonight. Your beer, senor. This is Johnny. I just want to let you know that Butler guy, he is a laugh riot. I think you got to get that guy more screen time, more talk time. I don't know what you got to do, but whatever you're paying him ain't enough. I love that Butler guy. Tell him, tell him, tell him what I said. Okay, goodbye. Enter the Devil. What a silly title.
Yeah, I'm I, I'm a little bit freaky right now. With yeah, the devil. You know? No, devil movies are no fun. It's yeah, they're not my favorite. I you know I, I like ghost films. Mm-hmm. You now we've shown every ghost film we could get. So I, you know, now we're on devil films, and soon we'll be doing disaster films again. Mm. No, it's it's what we do. Yeah. Uh, this film though, the first time it premiered on television, it premiered on Bob Wilkins' original creature feature show, which was our predecessor to this show. So this is kind of a a full circle, right? Mm, yeah. First time it was yeah. on television. Bob yeah. Wilkins, and now we're running it. So that's interesting. Not that interesting, but it's it's interesting. Let's talk about music. Okay. You play music? I, yeah, I play guitar very bad. So right. I don't play on so the stage. So do I. <laughs> because it's. Yeah, we all play good. guitar bad. Yeah. Even the ones who think they're good are uh, still bad. Yeah. I, and my daughter, she always say, you know, that don't go on the stage with the guitar. No. Please. She's a really great uh, piano well, player. You know, I do have a saying that goes, Old blokes should not play guitar. Yeah. That's a young man's instrument, yeah. right? Yeah, it's right. true. But you sing. I sing. Yeah, I and sing. You uh, said gypsy? Gypsy jazz. Yeah. Gypsy jazz. I have a band called Rue Manouche, I mean like gypsy streets. Gypsy street? Yeah, it's the, the, the tradition. Manouche? The tra- Rue Manouche. Manouche is a kind of name for the gypsy. Ah, all yeah. right. And the Rue, it's a street. Right, yeah. right, right. And so I create this band like. Uh, 10 years ago in San Francisco with nice. a great musician. We have a great group of musicians. Right. And and also, you know, uh, during December when the circus will be at Cornerstone in Sonoma, right. we will have um, music. Uh, during three Friday night, we have a, a gypsy jazz show with the, the jazz hot of San Francisco. Next to the circus. Yeah, inside the circus. Inside tent. the circus. Yeah. So two for one. Yeah, two and we have also one. flamenco nights. Oh, you know, I love flamenco. Yeah, with a great dancer and musician. Mm. And also, uh, a last show will be like a Paris Montmartre. Ah. Like a musette and singing right. Edith Piaf and right. stuff like that. So, oh, nice. Yeah, and you know, I, lo- I love jazz, going to jazz shows. Yeah. You know why? Because I'll, I'll go to a jazz show and I'll, I'll pick the most insignificant note that one of the musicians yeah. plays and I'll start going like this. And all of a sudden, everyone will start clapping, and it is hilarious. <laughs> Try it sometime. Just, just go to a jazz <laughs> show, and the most insignificant note you could choose, just... And the whole place. You know exactly yeah, I'm right. Yeah, I know. It's a I great thing. That. It's no, fun. It's a good yeah. one. Yeah. All right, so maybe we should put up the website. What's, what's the website for your Cirque du Bohème? It's a Cirque du Bohème.com. Cirque du Bohème.com. Should be appearing down there. We'll pop that up a little bit later if you didn't catch it. Yeah, and, and there's uh, all the information there. And, you know, we stay only one month. Right. And after that, we disappear. Like and what's bus. the dates on that? We start Thanksgiving weekend, November 24. Right. And we finish uh, December 24. All right. Every so weekend. It's it's going now. You must, like, sign up, get a ticket, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Because after that, it will be too late. That's right. That's we, right. we are like, you know like a spirit like a ghost right you know yeah. one day the tent you no know, you disappear. have to you have to shut down for christmas because no one's going to come on christmas know, right yeah. you've got to your own christmas yeah, things yeah. yeah well what do you say we uh get back to this film and then then when we come back we'll talk some more about the circus okay all right off we go back to you enter the devil don't you dare go away bye Getting kind of nippy. Hmm. Couldn't interest you in a couple of hands of Mexican sweat, could I? No, not tonight. I'm going to go down, build a mesquite fire, and roll over. Be leaving early in the morning.
Glenn Phelps. What is it, Glenn? A jug of wine, a loaf of bread, a little cheese, and maybe some conversation. How about it? Sounds interesting. Come on in. Wild Rio Grande grapes. Vintage, pretty recent. And mighty potent. Good wine, good food, good friends, and a warm fire. This is beautiful. Who would ever expect to find something like this out in the middle of the desert? We try to make the guests comfortable. Whatever made you decide to start a place like this? So far out in, I mean, so far out from civilization. <laughs> People, I guess. People? Yeah. I guess I'm what you might call a high-class hermit. As for this place, there are getting to be more and more people, and more and more of them are looking for some place to get away from it all. And so you give them that place? Mm -hmm. It's not a bad life. It gets a little lonely now and then with only the hands for company. I met a couple of your hands today. Which one's the foreman, Maria or Juanita? Actually, it's a sequel, a study of strange religions and cults that managed to flourish here in the 20th century among so-called modern man. Like, for instance? You've heard of the Penitentes. Mm -hmm. Penitentes were active over in the New Mexico mountains until very recently, uh, 1940s. Their rites were a strange mixture of Christianity and old Indian customs. What do you mean? On Good Friday, a member of the Brotherhood would be selected to portray Christ. You mean and they actually were... crucified a man? Annually. And I believe the sect is being revived. Here, along the border, where outsiders are few and far between. You mean the authorities weren't able to stamp it out? <laughs> Could the Romans stamp out Christianity? Were the Christians able to break up the Mormons? And still other cults have appeared in the past few years. There's the Satanic Church. Let's not church bust or... a perfectly good evening with any more of this. I'm going to have a hard enough time getting to sleep as it is. Oh. Thank you. You must have been a child prodigy. What makes you say that? Because you're much too young for all that knowledge. A man could sure get lost in those eyes. I'll take that as a compliment. No, ma'am.
warned you for the last time. You were not to be with that gringo lawman. Do as I command, or else you shall surely be cast into hell. Well, it's cooking, but there's not much in it. I sure thought we'd found pay in Cinnabar this time. Cinnabar? Mm-hmm. I thought you were looking for mercury. That's mercury-bearing ore. We crush it and heat it up in that furnace and distill the liquid mercury. Kind of like distilling white lightning. That man with the scars. Do you know how that happened? Accident, I guess. Maybe, but I wonder... Ask him. I want to know how he got those scars. Por qué tiene usted este cicatriz? No lo comprendo. Mario, un momento. I don't think he understands you. And I know you're shaking him up. These fellows aren't used to carrying on conversations with pretty gringo women. In fact, most of them believe that a woman in a mine is bad luck. No le hace. Vaya a trabajar. Dr. Culver, what was that all about? I'm not sure, but it could be very important to my research. Those Back marks in the were... 30s, this was a booming operation. Could be again if we hit a pocket like in 1933. They took three million in less than two and a half months. Yep, those were the good old days, depression or no depression. At least that's what they tell me. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that too. This whole district is filled with old prospects and shafts, none of which ever made much money. With all that color, you'd think it would pay. So far, the best I've been able to do is break even once or twice. Sure is big country. Hell, I can remember when there was nothing out there but apartment houses, supermarkets, and gas stations. <laughs> Jace, look out! I don't think so. Glenn, what the hell happened? One of the ore cars got loose. You hurt anywhere? All over. I feel like a Mack diesel ran over me. Think you can make it back up the hill? I got down here, didn't I? You sure did. Did you have to bring the whole mountain down with you? Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear I have been tasked with requesting you to help our show financially by visiting our patron page. Your generosity will help us keep Creature Features on the air. With only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new entertainment for your viewing pleasure each and every week. And if you have the desire to give more, you might even receive a gift from Tangella. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you.
grow up a bloody spoiled child. You feeling okay? I'll pull through, Paco. Need it? With a little help from some internal medicine. <laughs> I know. Juanita, where were you last night? I thought you were coming down to the house. I even thought I heard you knock. I was busy. Doing what? I was washing. I'll be going back to town in the morning. Do you know the trace matter, yes, Nina? Yeah. Tonight, I will be there to say goodbye. Muy bien. See, I think you feel much better, Senor Jay.
3 to Alpine Dispatch. This is Unit 3 to Alpine Dispatch. Do you read me? Looks like some kind of a fire up at the old pepper tree mine, just north of the heat. I'm going to go up and check it out. and that's all there is to it. I'm in no mind to argue. It just isn't safe. Not for a woman. Not for anybody. Doc, I'm very sorry for what happened to Jace, but I can't see what his accident has to do with my research. I'm close to something I just know I am. Yeah, I think you are too. And that's why I'm getting you out of here. Because whatever it is, it's not good. I don't... The Doc's right, Leslie. At least about putting you on the train. It'll be a while before things get back to normal around here. I'll give you a call when things settle down. Come back and stay a while. Features is brought to you by...
CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Sammy. Hello, Sammy. You sure he's not dead? Yeah, I'm sure. Look yes. at that. Oh, okay. I saw him breathe. I, no, I think it's because he's sleepy. No, that's that's no. It's it's nice. He's he's yeah, he's look, a he's yeah. a well-behaved mutt. Welcome back to the show. We're still watching Into the Devil with Michelle Michelis. You're telling me uh, over this film that you are a murdering guy too. Yeah, I was, but a long movie? time ago. Right. You know, on the movie called Angel Face, you know, in Italy. Angel Face. Yeah. And, and that was 1979, you said? Nine, yeah. Right. Yeah, I was 19 years old. 19 oh, year old murderer. Yeah. How fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Very bloody. Right. Movie. And you know, it's, um, it, it was a great memory. It was not a great movie, but it was a great memory. Right. Yeah, right. I, yeah. So was this purely an Italian film? Yeah. We cannot see it here. No, it's. And, it was made in Cinecita, who was a great experience for me because I discover the the studio of Cinecita. Ah. You know, it's uh, like Hollywood, but in Italy, oh, wow. smaller, right. of course. Right. But very interesting, you know. And uh, and when I was there doing this fun movie, uh, there is a guy who was a French director, Jean Jacques Hano, right. who was uh, preparing the movie The Name of the Roses. Oh, that's a and famous one. Yeah, this right. one was very famous, and I was thinking, wow, I really want to try to play on this movie. Right. But, uh, no, they don't. No. And uh, But I see all the, the people coming, the costume, you know, the How bastard, fun, right. everything. So it was really, really nice for a right. young man, like, right. you know, just... Uh, this is called Angel Face. Yeah, Angel you know, Face I, I bet you they never showed this film, no. Angel Face, in the UK, because the UK was such prudes. This movie... Enter the devil, they would not allow yeah. to be shown. I, 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 the, I've never seen know, this film until yeah. I came here. Yeah, English people, sometimes they are like right. food. No, but you turn on the telly and there's bosoms on the television. Yeah. But no, and they're stabbing aloud, but you can have bosoms yeah. all day long. Here it's the opposite. Yeah. No, you true. can have stabbings all day long, but no, no bosoms. Yeah. Right, right. All right, what do you say we wrap up this film? And then uh, when we come back, we're going to find out what you're doing after the circus. Okay. All right. Off we go to the end of Enter the Devil. It ends really well, so don't miss it. And don't go away after the credits because we'll be here and Tangella will be here. And we think uh, Sammy the dog will wake up. We'll see. See you soon. Nearest we can tell is the break line. Not much to go on other than that. Did you ever find out what he was doing up there in the first place? Uh, we got some kind of garbled transmission, but we're too far out for good radio reception. Sure sorry about Jace. He was pretty close to you, wasn't he? Yeah, almost can. I kind of help raise him. Oh, come on. You don't want to miss your train. Glad to see her gone. Yeah. Doc, maybe we ought to talk about them hunches of yours, huh?
You're sure we're doing the right thing? Doc's a sweet old guy, but I don't always agree with some of his ideas. Glenn, I really feel I'm close to something. I'd hate to have to start all over. People are just starting to accept me. And that's the most important thing. Doc's gonna be pretty put on when he finds out you double back on it. He'll get over it when I prove my theories. Down. Nothing. Going down to La Hitas. Bueno por la noche? Si. Esta noche. Muy bien. There was a little something between uh, Jace and that little Juanita, wasn't there? Oh, hell, Doc. You knew Jace. It didn't necessarily amount to anything. She just something you see could, you know... Well, whatever it was, if you could find her, then you'd probably get a lead on what he was working on. Well, that's pretty hard to do, Doc. You know, these people, as soon as they make a stake, they head south, across the river. Hell, I don't even know where she called home. I did notify the federales, though. You sure be burning up the road these days. No more than I see you and that professor from goodbye here, and her and Glenn Phelps goes the other way, and now you're back. You sure about that? Well, I got eyes. And they was in that topless wonder of Phelps. Besides, you don't see too many like her around these parts. Willis, did Jace come through here yesterday? I ain't seen Jace since he got the word about that missing hunter up at Phelps. Guess he's still up the lodge. Jace is dead. Uh, killed when his uh, jeep went off the road up on Black Mesa. Up that old pepper tree mine? Yeah. You reckon he might have been seeing them lights? What lights? Well, I didn't want to say anything. Everybody around here thinks I'm from the loony bin. But I ain't the crazy one. My thing is... What them lights? Like... Well, just a bunch of weird lights. I seen them moving around up there and heard all that singing and chanting. But I don't speak Max. Tell you one thing, I ain't about to go up there again. Once is enough. Willis, is your telephone working? Yeah, I worked last night. Fellas from down to the studios. You figured on going up there? It's getting pretty late in the day. Professor, I thought you'd gone. A very short side trip. I felt I had to come back. Esta noche? Yes, tonight Glenn has taken me up into the mountains.
That's high church Latin. This is certainly more than I'd hoped for. Where do you think they're going? That first step, it's a big one. Thank you. 
Dead, sir? Gotta be. Well, there's one thing for sure, Tom. I ain't volunteering to go down after that body. Well, I reckon he ain't going nowhere. I'm getting Judge Omo out here from Alpine in the morning for the inquest. And so help me, I'm gonna seal this place up so tight a rock scorpion can't climb out of here. You got a light? Yeah. Maybe dynamite put an end to all this foolishness. Cavalry comes in and saves the the day. Always. Always. Now, what did you think of the show, Tangela? I don't think she was watching. I, I think she's more interested in Sammy. In Sammy, yeah. She's put him back to sleep. He, You know, he was awake for a moment, and then she came in and began petting him, and now he's he's a slumber again. So what's next for you after the this run of the circus? So after the circus in Sonoma, uh, I'm going back to France. Oh, nice. Yeah. Right. Because uh, I have a project there with my blues band ah, in France. Right. And uh, I need to write... And the a, blues band is different than the gypsy jazz. It's different than the gypsy jazz. And right. it's a different musician, it's a different ambiance. But you sing. I sing. Right, right. Yeah, and I write the songs. Right, right. So for the blues. How fun. And so we have a, a project to do a new uh, LP. Nice. You know. Right. And uh, a tour. Are you so going to do sure. actual vinyl? Yeah, we love that. Oh, nice. Yeah, Good. we love that. Good. CDs is fun, but you right. know, all the... Uh, you know, all the new the technology. The analog, fat oh, sound, no, no. yes. I love no. the vinyl. Yeah, nice. So, yeah, this is my project. And also working for the Festival d'Avignon to see uh, how I can maybe organize the, the, the show right. uh, and bring the, the, the American troupe right. in, uh, in France in oh, July. That would be fantastic. So, yeah, I'm sure our friend Ken Gar would love to. Oh, the magician oh, Ken Gar. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's, for me, yeah. he's the best magician in the world. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah. We have him on often for that reason. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. All right. Well, absolutely wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. We thank you. We do appreciate it. We'll come see the circus with you soon. Thank you, Vincent. And uh, next time you're in town, come see us. Yeah, we are. You know, and thank you to uh, welcome 
me and Sam here, and we are very uh, honored You're to be in welcome. your beautiful house. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it's, it's very not as nice. quite as nice as a circus tent, but yeah, it'll do. It's nice, it'll you do. know. Thank you, Vincent. All right, thank you. And uh, as far as you guys go, thank you so much for staying up late and watching the show with us. We know you could have been watching something else, but instead you stayed here with us, and that makes you absolutely wonderful enough so that we love you. We'll see you next week, and uh, have a wonderful rest of your weekend. So, uh, Michelle, you know this whole thing with the circus. I've never been in a circus before. I've been in a band, and I've done all this other stuff. Do you think you might be able to find me some position? Yeah, you have already the clown costume, my friend. <laughs>